All right, now let's have a look at question five on mass balances. And this question is also from a past exam paper. So if you go through the past papers or, or in general, uh, slurry processing operations, you'll see that very similar kinds of questions come out. So I'm hoping that by explaining this question to you, if you see anything remotely similar to it, you won't be thrown off guard. The trick here is you never see slurry processing questions outside of your exams. And then as soon as you go into your exam, you see the slurry processing question and it involves all the concepts you've been using up until this point. But the entire operation of the process and, and just the way that it works is enough to throw you off. So hopefully with some exposure therapy today, you will be okay when you see it again. There's one very important concept I want to explain, but when the time comes, I will explain it. So long, let's have a look at the question. So they say to you, you have a slurry. Firstly, what is a slurry in chemical engineering? A slurry is any solid plus liquid mixture. Okay, and you often end up with uh, slurries in processing applications, like when you have coal in water or you've got a product with solids mixed in it, a valuable product with solids mixed in it, and you want to remove the solids from the product. Sometimes the solids could be the valuable thing, like in this case, and sometimes the liquid could be the valuable thing. Okay, so we've got a slurry, okay, a solid liquid mixture of sodium chloride crystals, and it's in a mother liquor, and that is available at a flow rate of 100 kilograms of slurry per hour. Now let's talk about the mother liquor. The mother liquor is, remember, when you originated from your mother, you lived inside of her. So similarly, these NaCl crystals are living inside of a liquor or a liquid that is rich in chemicals. So I'm going to draw a picture here, right? This is a pipe. Oh, already off to a shaky start, hey? All right. This is a pipe. And in this pipe, we've got these crystals, okay? These are solid, hard crystals, actual solid blocks. Uh, and so I'm just going to draw a little circle around them. So you know that these are solid pieces, okay? But these solid pieces don't live in isolation. They are floating in a little liquid. And this liquid is called your ML or your mother liquor. And this is your crystal. Okay. And in that mother liquor, you can have other dissolved components. Okay, but there's a very important distinction I want to make here, and I'm going to explain it again because it's very important. And if you don't understand it, you will struggle with slurry filtration questions. In the mother liquor, we've got dissolved components. So you could have crystals and water and things dissolved in the mother liquor. But remember, they are dissolved. They are not in solid form. So if I could somehow suck out all the mother liquor, you know, send it through a filter system, all of the dissolved chemicals in the mother liquor will be pulled through. They will not accumulate with the crystals. And it's very important that you understand that. So the crystals are solid pieces. They are not, a slurry is not solids dissolved in a liquid. It is solids standing on their own in a liquid. So, so let's say, for example, I poured salt into cold water. You can very clearly see where the salt is accumulating, right? So um, if, I, if I put salt, right, in some cold water, you can very clearly see where the salt is accumulating. This is more like a slurry compared to if you put salt, right, in hot water, then your mixture is now salt and water. And no matter how good of a filter you have, you probably cannot pull these salt pieces out of here. It's a part of the mixture. So your mother liquor is more like this, and your slurry is more like this, where your solids and your liquids are in the same medium, but they are separate, okay? I know I'm spending a lot of time on this, but if you understand it, it's really going to help you. And this is more like the mother liquor. So the mother liquor means that all the components are dissolved, and the slurry means that you've got solids living inside of the liquid. Okay, if you just remember this picture, I think you're going to be okay. 
but I'm going to talk about this again. And I apologize if it makes sense to you already, that's fine, you can skip ahead. But I need to explain it again, just in case you didn't get it the first time. Okay, um, so they say to me, I've got slurry at 100 kgs per hour. The mother liquor analysis, so remember the mother liquor can contain dissolved components. It's got mostly water, some salt, and a little bit of sodium sulfate. And the slurry contains 20% sodium chloride crystals for 80% mother liquor. So um, le let, me, let me draw this now quickly. So while we are here, let's, let's talk about it. Okay, so I've got a slurry stream coming in. Okay, they told me that the slurry is 20% solid crystals. Okay, so if I try to draw this as a picture, here's my pipeline. Okay, I know that my slurry is made up of 20 mass percent crystals. How do I know it's mass percent? Because we're talking about a liquid. If we're talking about gases, we talk about mole percent. Okay, and 80% of the remainder is ML or mother liquor. Okay, I hope you're happy with that. So we've got 20% crystals in here and the remaining 80% is all mother liquor. But they also told me that the mother liquor, remember, was composed of water, which I believe was 70%, that's correct. So 70% of 80% of the mass is water. Does that make sense? Okay, 28% NaCl. So my NaCl is 28%, and then the remaining 2% is sodium sulfate. So just think about it 28% of 80% of the mass of the slurry is equal to salt, and 2% of 80% of the mass of the slurry is equal to sodium sulfate and that's if you got that this whole question is very easy and very straightforward okay so this is my slurry stream and remember they told me i've got a hundred kilograms per hour so immediately you can actually go ahead and calculate the mass of each thing in here so i will do that but let me see if i can do it in a different uh, in a different way. Okay, so if I've got 20% crystals, that means I've got 20 kilograms per hour of crystals, right? Water is 70% of 80%. Okay, so let me write it down here 70% of 80% of the slurry mass. And that is equal to 56 kilograms. Yeah, 56 kilograms per hour. Okay, the sodium chloride is 28% of 80% of the slurry mass. Um, that should be 22.4 kilograms per hour. And sodium sulfate is 2% of the 80% of the mass of the slurry. And that should equal to 1.6 kilograms per hour okay i know the font is the the text is getting very small at this point but just listen to what i'm saying and hopefully it will make sense okay so we've got a slurry entering the process let's continue reading all of that is just from the first paragraph right a dry solid mixture of sodium chloride and sodium sulfate is produced from the slurry so the slurry is filtered to get rid of most of the mother liquor as a filtrate what is the filtrate the filtrate is just the the liquid that passes through your filter. So if you've ever filtered oil at home, you pour oil into the filter. The oil is the filtrate because it goes through the filter and whatever stays in the filter is called the filter cake. All right. So the slurry is filtered to get most of the mother liquor as a filtrate. So in chemical engineering, this is the symbol we use for a separator or a filter and we pull out most of the mother liquor here. So this is 100% mother liquor. Do you agree if this is 100% mother liquor, the mother liquor's composition does not change, okay? So think about it like this. If you had a bottle of Zip Cola, right? And so that's the knockoff of Coca-Cola. If you take Zip Cola and pour it into a cup and then you pour a second cup, how does the composition look between the two cups? It's exactly the same, right? 
So my mother liquor here simply goes through a filter. And the mother liquor that comes out is going to have exactly the same composition. Now here's where I used to get confused, right? Where's my picture? I used to say to myself, well, if I'm pulling out mother, if I'm pulling out mother liquor, is not is not is it not that the water is only coming out and the sodium chloride and the sodium sulfate is staying behind on the filter? And that was my biggest mistake. And that's why I took so much time trying to explain to you um, this differentiation in the beginning. That sodium chloride and sodium sulfate lives in the mother liquor. You cannot pull that out. Maybe with an exceptionally fine filter, but for the filtration purposes we are talking about, we are trying to separate the big crystals. So these big rocks here, that's what is staying behind on the filter. All of the little sodium sulfate and sodium chloride that lives in the mother liquor and the water, you can't separate that. That's all mother liquor. And so when you vacuum pull that mother liquor out, all of that um, sodium and sodium sulfate is going to come out in the mother liquor. Okay, so that's a very important distinction to make. So your mother liquor composition stays exactly the same. It's 70% water, 28% salt, and 2% sodium sulfate. Okay, if that makes sense to you, ah, you are going to be fine. Okay, so we pull out this mother liquor as a filtrate. And then they say to me the filter cake, which is sodium chloride crystals and mother liquor. So remember, we, we didn't pull out all the mother liquor, right? So we left with solid crystals on the cake and a little bit of mother liquor. And that contains 8% mother liquor. So I'm going to pull the uh, cake out here. The cake is just what's left behind on the filter. You can label this as uh, filter cake. And I know it's got 8% mother liquor. Therefore, the remaining 92% must be crystals. Okay, and again, this mother liquor contains 70% water, 28% salt, and 2% sodium sulfate. I would have given all of my money to have understood this at the time because I don't know why, I just did not understand that the mother liquor composition stays constant throughout the process. Okay. And then they say, okay, this filter cake is dried by evaporating all the water. The solids mixture from the dryer is the desired product. So basically what happens is we put this cake through a dryer. Okay. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to need to extend my drawing a bit. Okay, um, this is the dryer. Okay, come work with me, technology. And it goes through a dryer. Okay, and all of the water is removed. Okay, so remember there was 70% of 70. So if I wanted to know how much water is in here, 70% of 8% of the mass of the cake will be water. And that's how much I pull out here. And the only thing remaining, remember, once I've pulled out my crystals, I'm going to end up with solid crystals. Okay. And remember now, remember, I said your filter cannot pull out the dissolved solids in the mother liquor. But if you've got a dryer, right? If you've got a dryer, the salt is going to be left behind, both salts. Okay, I hope, I hope you don't feel like this is a contradiction. So let's just go back up. This is the slurry. You know if I have a slurry, right? And I put this through a filter, I can easily get the salt back standing on its own. And that's what we've did in the filtration system. But in the dryer system, I've got mother liquor. If I evaporate this mother liquor, right? If I evaporate the mother liquor, do you agree that I will have salt crystals left over? Even if that salt is perfectly dissolved, you've perfectly dissolved that salt in the water. Think about it, right? If you go into the ocean, you cannot see the salt in the water, but you've seen salt bed pans. Those are these huge pans that we put out in our farms. 
We pour salt water into it and we let the sun evaporate the water. When you evaporate the water, the only thing you are left behind with is this white paste and that is salt. So I want you to picture the same process happening in the dryer. So when you pull all the water out, you are left with crystals, which were the solid big rocks. But you are also left with NaCl from the mother liquor and sodium sulfate from the mother liquor. And I'll just put a subscript so you know um, that these come from the mother liquor. But remember, these crystals are also sodium chloride crystals. So you've got sodium chloride crystals here and sodium chloride crystals here and some sodium sulfate. Okay, so I hope we are on the same page. Um, then they say to me, the solids mixture from the dryer is the desired product. So I know that the outlet here of the dryer with these three components, one, two, three, that is my final desired product. So question A says to me, draw and label a block flow diagram for the process. So I have used blocks here. This is a block flow diagram. So we've basically done part A of the question. So I'm gonna put a tick here and label this as part A. Part B says to me, calculate the complete mass balance for the process. So basically, now we're going to take out our calculators and insert values wherever we don't know what is happening or wherever we don't have enough information. Sorry. So I'm going to take out my blue pen for this, right? So basically, when they say to you solve the mass balance for the process, put a mass flow rate on every single stream there is and put the mass flow of every composition there is. So. We've already got our basis, 100 kilograms per hour. Um, so part A and B is basically going to be on the same page. Okay, because I'm just going to fill in all my values here. All right. So let's begin. I know I've got 100 kilograms per hour of slurry. Therefore, I've got 20 kilograms per hour of crystals. Okay, uh, let's see if I can highlight that. And I've got 80 kilograms per hour of mother liquor. Because I knew the mother liquor composition, I can say 70% of 80% of the slurry mass is the mass of water. So that's 56 kilograms per hour. All right. Uh, then I know that 28% of 80% of the slurry's mass is equal to 22.4. And then 2% of 80% of 100 kilograms per hour is the mass of sodium sulfate. Um, okay, so so we're happy, right? Then I know that we pulled off some mother liquor, but I don't have any information about this. But I know that in the filter cake, I've got 92% crystals. So we are going to make the assumption, and you can write it down somewhere if you want to, but you can say assume that the filter catches all um, NaCl crystals. And, and that's not a bad assumption to make, right? Because think about it. If you've got these massive rocks floating through your mixture, it's very difficult for that rock to pass through a filter, right? It's very easy to pull liquids through that filter. But if you've got like a big enough rock, it's not going to fall through that filter. So... If we assume that this um, excellent uh, filter here, right, has no crystals escaping. So every single crystal that enters, 20 kilograms per hour of crystal that's entering, none of it gets lost in the mother liquor. Then we know that 20 kilograms per hour of crystals must be coming out. I hope you are happy with that logic. Okay, I hope you agree with me. 92% crystals, so all of the crystals that are entering this filter are all of the crystals exiting this filter. So that's another flow rate we've solved for. But I'm going to ask you something, right? If I know that 92% of the mass of the stream is 20 kilograms per hour, can you tell me what the remaining 8% is? You can, right? Right, you can, using, using ratios. So I'm going to just draw 
a line down here. Okay, this is my first time using the blue pen, but I feel like I'm running out of um, black, red, and yellow is just getting a bit intense on my eyes. So I know that 92% of this mass of the stream comes from 20 kilograms of crystals, right? And so 8% must be some unknown kilograms of mother liquor, okay? And so X is equal to 20 times 8 over 92, which is 1.74 kilograms of mother liquor. So I've got 1.74 kilograms of mother liquor, and I can write it down here. 1.74 kilograms of mother liquor, kilograms per hour. Okay, so well done. You've solved another point in the mass balance. Okay, but if I've got 1.74 kilograms of mother liquor coming out here, and I had 80 kilograms per hour of mother liquor coming in here, right? Because remember, 80%. Then can you tell me how much mother liquor goes out here? Yeah, sure, we can do that. So what I'm going to say is the mass of mother liquor in, um, in the slurry is equal to the mass of mother liquor um, in the filtrate plus the mass of mother liquor in the cake, in the filter cake. I know the mass of mother liquor in the cake, 1.74 kilograms, right? Plus, I don't know how much mother liquor is in the filtrate. And the mass of mother liquor in the slurry was 80 kilograms per hour. Oh, even this is all per hour, okay. If I forget my units, I apologize. Okay, and so the mass of mother liquor in the filtrate is equal to 8 minus 80 minus 1.74, which is 78.26 kilograms per hour. So well done. We have solved yet another point in the mass balance. 78.26 kilograms per hour sits up here. 78.26 kilograms per hour of mother liquor. I can highlight that and put a blue tick there. Okay, so we are doing well. Do you agree that you can, if asked, you can also calculate the mass of water, sodium chloride, and sodium sulfate here. So this will be 70% of 78, 28% of 78, and 2% of 78. So you can calculate it if necessary, but remember this is an off stream. We, we're probably gonna go recycle this somewhere else in our factory. So knowing the exact flow rates is not too important. Okay, now let's talk about this cake. I think it's important here to know how much of each component is in the stream. And why do I say that? Because we're gonna pull all the water out here. So can I calculate, remember, 70% of my 1.74 kilograms of mother liquor will be coming just from water. So you can calculate this, 70% of 1.74, and here the numbers start to get a bit hairy. So I'm gonna bring in my book, that's gonna be, 1.217 1.217 kilograms of water okay then 28 percent 28 percent of 1.74 is 0 0.487 and here the numbers are getting really small now 0 0.487 kilograms of salt and then two percent of 1.74 is going to be very small 0. 0 0.035 kilograms of sodium sulfate. Okay, now remember, in the next step, they said to me, in the dryer, all of this water gets removed. So, all 1.217 kilograms of H2O is pulled out. So, can you tell me what is remaining out of the dryer? Well, I know I had 20 kilograms per hour of crystals, right? 20 kilograms per hour of crystals, that's easy. 
The amount of sodium chloride in the mother liquor was 0 0.487 kilograms. So that's 0 0.487 kilograms per hour. And then the mass of salt was 0 0.035 kilograms per hour. Not salt, but sodium sulfate. All right. And there we go. We have solved the entire mass balance. Um, and I just want to take a second to see that we've answered everything. Okay. Um, I think I'm happy with that. So we know all the compositions in our product. We know the composition of our water exiting. We know the composition of the cake. That's 8% mother liquor, which has these masses. I'm just going to put some ticks here. And we know the mass of our crystals. We know how much mother liquor is exiting. And if you want to, you can work out this composition. And we know the slurry composition. So we've solved the entire mass balance. Done. And now let's look at the last question. What is the mass percentage analysis of the dry product? So here's the dry product right at the end. Okay. They want to know what is the uh, mass percentage analysis. So there's only two components in the dried product. There's salt or NaCl and sodium sulfate. So let's see if we can work out the composition of sodium chloride in the dried product. Okay. So that's going to be part C. Okay. So part C says to you, um, I want to know the mass percentage of NaCl in the dried product. Okay. So that is, of course, going to equal to the mass of NaCl in product divided by the mass total in the product. Okay, so let's go back up and get our answers right. How much NaCl is in here? 20 plus 0 0.487. So that's 20.487 kilograms per hour of salt all over 20 plus 0 0.487, plus that really small number, 0 0.035. 0 0.035 kilograms per hour. And uh, just remember 0 0.035, that's 350 grams, which is really not a lot, okay? So you get 20 over your total mass to give you 99.85% sodium chloride. Okay, and then if somebody asked you, um, just to be thorough, if you wanted the mass percentage of sodium sulfate in the product, then that is equal to 1 minus 99.85%, which is equal to 0.15%. Okay, and we can put a box around this answer. Remember, always take pride in your answer and present it in a way that is aesthetically pleasing. To the examiner. And that's it. Well done. That was, I think, the most complex example we've done to date. So thank you for watching and let's move on to the next question.